All right. Well, hey, coaches out for change. It's Dee Corchin. Meg is here. We are so excited to be with you guys. Post convention, um, last day of the month, lots of good stuff happening. So um, we kind of planned this call to be able to debrief um, for those of us that were there. But we also know um, that there were those of us on the call that couldn't be there for whatever reason. So we want to be able to bring some of the energy back to you guys, um, some of the things that we learned. And uh, most importantly, how do we take this information and take this energy and how do we translate it into something that is going to make a huge difference um, in the lives of others. But I just wanted to share with you, I was telling Meg this earlier today, um, I was looking in the back office and I see that we as an organization are starting to make a turn in the difference that we are making. You know, there's been no... Um, you know, we've been very honest in our team that sales have been, you know, in terms of helping more people have been down, volumes have been down, sponsoring has been down. Um, but this month, we've had more people, more coaches on our team earn the client support bonuses than last month, which is awesome. Um, our overall volume as a team is up from last month, which means we, we are back into the uptick, which is awesome. Um, and then we have four times as many new coaches as we had last month. So congratulations to all every everyone. Um, I just feel like with um, all that's happening, I feel like we are actually going to become who we've always been in terms of what we offer as a program. And we are really being challenged to rise up as coaches um, and really offer what we offer, which is our true offering of the four components of the program. Um, and with the addition of the new EAAs and active line, this just broadens the market that much more. So um, before I go any further, Meg, I know you have been on fire. So what would you like to share? Yeah, I mean, just what a incredible few days. I mean, I know um, my mind is racing, my heart is racing, and I know that so many others are too. Would you put in the chat for the people that weren't with us, what you experienced at convention, what that energy was like, what it did for you, because we want you to experience it. Um, some people weren't able to come this year, and we really hope that you will come be a part of this next year. Um, and one of the big things that I realized and that I think we all need to be reminded of is that we can do freaking hard things. That's what we were made for. And, uh, you know, I, I have this sense that, and I heard this from other leaders that some of us, we've got to just go ahead and run ahead. And we really hope that people will follow, right? We really want, we, I have a vision for so many people. I bet you have a vision for clients and for coaches, but I think we can't let that weigh us down. We can't let that stop us. People are going to do what they're going to do, but what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to run ahead. I have a bigger fire in my heart today than I have in six years of coaching. And, um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to go. And, um, so just one, some questions I'm asking myself is what is it that I want to do? Who do I want to become? Who is going to be better? because I woke up today, because I am fighting for them today, even when they forgot that they have a fighter inside of them. There were a couple of questions that, that I received just from speakers that I really liked. One was that somebody in their coaching calls, they asked, do you want me to coach you with grace? Or do you want to coach me? Do you want me to coach you with TTL or team tough love? I don't know about you, but I've been coaching with way too much grace. And when I coach with too much grace, you know, sometimes people forget that they have a fighter in them. So I think that is a huge thing that I'm just, I'm ready to fight for people again. I'm ready to fight for these clients that have given up on themselves. And, you know, I think it's important for all of us that we build the trust with our clients and our coaches so that they can handle our feedback. And the way we build trust is we do the things we said that we were going to do. So we go back to that first call. What did we promise them, right? We said that this community was incredible. Are we showing up in that community? We said we we're going to give them a weekly phone call from a coach. Are we delivering on that phone call? Are we bringing value to them? Because people spend money every single day when they perceive value. So that was just a really good um, 
thing for me, to, for me to take away and be reminded of is like, hey, we, it is more important than ever that we fight for people and that we fight for ourselves and that we deliver extraordinary results and deliver that value for our clients. And there was a lot of talk about the injectables and about, you know, all of this. But the biggest thing that I took away from that is, yes, injectables are out there, but they don't create health. The way we create health is through habits and healthy habits. And y'all, last I checked, we're the only people out there that are known as the healthy habits community. That's what we're known for. That's our heart and soul. And so I'm just ready to help more people get healthy and stay healthy. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I'm loving these comments that are coming in and what one person said, and you just said, and Meg is, um, it was a reinforcement to me. And I think it was Dr. Anderson said, what we produce is health gain. Weight loss is a byproduct. And then they also gave us some tough love. This was, I think, in the leadership training. And they said, you know what, from 2020, 21, 22, um, lack of a better word, kind of on easy street, right? And many of us, and I will put myself in that category that um, we kind of got in the habit of selling the diet of Optavia and letting our clients treat it as a diet, right? We had so much momentum and everything was happening so fast. Um, but what they really shared was that, you know what? Our diet niche has been taken away from us. It no longer exists. There's a lot of different ways to lose weight, but that is not who we are. We are a health company. Um, and now this gives us the opportunity to step up and really like, I love the words that said, absorb, become and preach the full program um, and the six macro habits because no one offers what we, what we do, no one. And another thing that th uh, stuck with me as we turn it over to some of our coaches to share um, was the reminder that your business is a reflection of what is going through your mind right now, right? Scarcity or abundance, diet, health program, right? Um, growth, no one wants this. You know, whatever is going through your mind is going to 100% show up in your business. Um, the, um, what is it called? The Get Active 30 is, and using the new products and the active line is a huge opportunity for each of us to step up in our health right? Everyone has our next level, no matter where you are. Thanks for posting that, Meg. Um, you can get more information um, from Get Active um, on the website. Just Google Optavia, you know, um, Active Line, and you're going to find all the documents you want on that. Um, they're they're going to release their training, um, recording of the training shortly. But I wanted you guys to know that every Wednesday night in August, starting on August 9th, is a specific corporate-based business call training on the Optavia Active Program. So we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of this so that you can credibly and authentically be able to roll it out when it rolls out to the public in September. So um, Meg, I know you had a couple people selected you wanted to share tonight? Absolutely. Well, one person we wanted to hear from tonight as we got started was Michelle. So Michelle, this was your first time coming to convention. And every time I checked in with you, you were like just fired up and ready to go. So would you share with us what in the world, how did you experience this weekend and what did you take away? It was amazing, first of all. So um, I, I kind of can't stop reflecting and just thinking um you know i was excited to go the day registration opened i registered i was i was going um so there was no question i will say kind of maybe a couple of weeks before i was like oh do i really want to do this um you know am i going to be inferior to all these other experienced coaches and people that have been doing this for so long. And, um, and I started kind of second guessing myself and, um, you know, even a little bit, I'm from New York, are these nice Southern women and men going to like this New Yorker? Um, but what I found was just an amazing, amazing group of supportive, like-minded people who were just so kind, welcoming me, um, caring. There were absolutely no judgments. Um, 
everyone was just so eager to meet, say hello, offer advice. Um, and of course, the um, infamous three other Bond girls, as Meg has named us, um, are just so awesome. And we just instantly, you know, kind of made this connection. But in particular with convention, um, I really didn't know what to expect. And it far exceeded um, my expectations. Um, first, I'd have to say just seeing a company, a founder, a CEO that genuinely care about people and making this world a healthier place. I really did not expect that. The emotion that Dr. A exudes um, was just just wonderful, you know, kind of makes you love that man even more. For me personally, um, I've been going through a, a real personal struggle, um, ending a 12 year relationship. Um, and I began coaching in January to, to start to work on me and find my new purpose. And I can say this convention was inspirational and even therapeutic. Um, in just reminding me of what I'm capable of. And in particular, um, Leslie and Trey Begin's story um, really spoke to me and um, had tears in my eyes. I actually messaged her and she responded back with such kind words and encouraging words. So I'm so ready to uh, write the title of the next chapter um, of my life and um, really seeing where this is going to take me. And then thirdly, my biggest takeaway was just this amazing team of people that I am so truly blessed to be a part of and uh, work alongside. I just, um, just so excited to learn from everyone, you know, learn from my coach, Sarah, and um, very special Lauren Yeoman that I've bonded with and then meeting so many some new uh, coaches like Rebecca and Lori um, and then experienced ones Steph Sweeney and Jessica Pope um, and of course my bond girls but um, just so many laughs tears encouragement um, and I just have to say a little bit about my award that um, you know I got the bison award and I was like oh okay that was nice I charged through things and then Sarah kind of asked me um, you know, do you really understand what that's about? Have you seen that YouTube video? And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? And she's like, oh, you have to, you have to watch it. So there I was yesterday in the airport waiting for my flight and, um, I put it on. Well, there was this blubbering woman now crying as to the meaning of this award. Um, and I just thank you for it, that you see that I am someone that is charging through and um, heading into the storm and I'm almost out of the storm and I just can't wait to feel the sunshine on me. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, just some things I plan to do differently, you know, that I took away from this live out loud, um, and, you know, get out of my comfort zone. There's a lot of fear of things happening in my life. And, um, I, I, you know, to get out of that and take those risks and take those chances so I can help people get healthy because I really am passionate about that. Um, and so, you know, my title for uh, the next chapter is of my life is Michelle charged into the storm and now it's our time to shine in the sunshine. So I'm just so fired up and so, so thankful for this wonderful experience and can't wait to go again. <laughs> so. Man. Thank, Thank you. you Michelle. Thank you so much for sharing. Check out the chat. You've got raving fans and we're <laughs> so glad you showed up anyways, even though you had the chatter and you had your, your bond girls. And if you are sitting out there or catching the recording and you've got some FOMO, we want you to know there's a spot for you. The water's warm. The experience Michelle had is incredible, but it is an experience that we want for you. So we mm -hmm. hope that you will show up and we have such an incredible community and you are wanted here. So we just wanna remind you about that. All right, so now we're moving over to the Bond that created the Bond girls and the Bond girls. So Sarah Bond, you created a team that showed up and the 
so the cutest team. Oh my goodness. These women are gorgeous. So Sarah, share with us a little bit about what that was like to come to convention this time and bring a team with you. Would you share with us? Sure. I'm happy to. It's tough to follow Michelle. She's got me teared up. Oh my goodness. Oh, um, and that's what it's all about. I don't know if I can say it any better than her, but um, you know, I remember when my first convention was three years ago, and I remember my mentors, you know, little comments of, oh, it's exciting seeing this through your eyes and for the first time. And um, I, I didn't really get exactly what they were saying at the time, but now I do, of course. Um, and I think I just keep going back to the feeling like I, you know, these amazing women come and um, the word that keeps coming to my mind is honored. I'm just honored that they came and that they took time away from their their time off work and, you know, their families and all the things that they have going on to come and spend some time um, and do this for themselves and for their clients and for their future clients. Um, so that just means the world to me. And I'm just really excited. Um, I was excited to see the connection that they were able to make and, and really get the big picture and catch the vision of the heart of this company on such a, you know, a large level. Um, but then also to feel that sense of belonging, you know, that they are a part of something really, really special and to know that they are so very capable of, of doing anything that they want to with this business. Um, and then, um, let's see. Oh, and one of the biggest things is, is really for me is just, you know, the fact that they came means that they are contending. They're contending for their own help. They're contending for their clients their future clients, they're contending for their own um, financial and time freedom. And that gives me goosebumps because I know personally what's possible and to see that they are taking this seriously and taking the time to go and, and invest in themselves and invest in their business and invest in their clients. It just is a remarkable experience. Um, and then from here, I'm excited to see what Meg asked me to, to talk about, like, what am I excited about and what am I hopeful for from here? And I'm really just excited to see where they take this um, and where we go as a team. Um, they're already home and posting about the Get Active 30. Um, I've been loving seeing their posts today, their stories. I've got, we've got two coach explorers that we're already scheduling for to bring two more people onto our team, hopefully, um, at least maybe three. Um, and we're planning a local event because um, we're, we're just feeling so inspired and so fired up um, from the, this experience. And then next year, I mean, we're already talking about next year and um, I see us all growing as a team and I see these fabulous women having teams of their own and being able to experience this in this way as well. So thanks for having us speak on the call tonight. You guys are amazing. Awesome, Sarah. It was so fun to, to see that and to see that growth in, in you by bringing a team. And I think that's where the magic starts to happen, right? With any of this is when we can start seeing opt to be a bigger than ourselves, right? It's not about getting another client so that we get our rank or I want another coach so that I get something. If we can start to really truly see it through the eyes of others and how this can benefit them, that's where the magic happens. And I think sometimes we can sit back and say, well, I, I've been to convention. I don't know that that's, you know, I need to go again. But when we start to think bigger about who can I bring with me, um, the experience changes. Um, this was my 13th convention, um, have never missed um, before. One time I had a family event I had to go to, you know, somebody's wedding on uh, Saturday, but I got there for the part that I could. But this year, I mean, it's no different. The specialness of, of being there with you guys and our team. And like Meg said, being able to come here in community week after week, like this is where um, what's different 
in the world. So, um, so I love that. So thank you. And I think that the creativity, like Sarah just said, we're going to do, we're posting, we're going to do a local event. Um, starting to think bigger than what we've done before is what is what is going to be the game changer and how we reach and touch more people. So um, I wanted to give a special kudos because both Sarah and Lori Pulver were chosen. Um, I think there were about 7,000 people at convention. They were chosen out of just a group of like 100 to do personal interviews um, about their transformation and what they were excited about with Optavia um, might be used in future Optavia marketing snippets and things like that. Um, but I had the joy of sitting next to Lori Pulver and I'm watching her and she's on her phone and she I see something she's doing and I'm like, what is that? And um, this brilliant idea she had. So Lori, I want you to... Um, to just talk about this idea you had, how you acted on it, and how the response that you're getting. Sure, thanks, Dee. So something came my way last week that, that inspired and motivated me with one of my clients. It just organically happened. So, it, and I developed a, a little program out of it. So I was on a client call last week with, with this one particular client, and for whatever reason, we, he was going on and on and it, it, the call was lasting a lot longer than it typically does with him, but we were having a great conversation and it was just a wonderful call. So it kept going on and here my client um, ended up coming with me in the car <laughs> to the, on the way to the gym because we were still on the call and, and I needed to get my workout in. My gym unfortunately closes at eight o'clock, which is a really big bummer. So I don't have a lot of time and I'm like, all right, I'm going to take him in the car with me to the gym. Well, we got to the gym and I was still on the phone with him. So I took him on the treadmill with me. So we were walking and talking. And I said, you know, I said to him, I'm like, you know what? I'm actually on the treadmill right now. You came all the way with me to the gym. And if, and he was like hysterical about it. And he's like, that's great. He's like, you know what? You're motivating me to like, to walk with you. So maybe next time we could walk together when, when we have our call. And I said, you know what? That is the best idea ever. I loved that idea. So I started a walk and talk program with my clients now. And on my calendar, um, <clears throat> I made a, an event type for walk and talk. And I have them now signing up to come do a walk and talk with me. So it doesn't have to be in person. If it is in person, great. But um, not all of my clients are, are close enough to me. So we're going to schedule a call and put our earbuds in and go walk around the neighborhood, the park, wherever they are, and just connect and have our client call while we're walking and talking to really try to promote the benefits of physical activity, um, health and motion, improving their sleep and their energy, their mental clarity, and everything that comes along with with um, you know focusing on their physical activity. And I really have been noticing more recently. Just I've been asking my clients more often how you know how they're doing with their healthy motion, and I'm really not getting a lot of buy-in with it. I find that there's a lot of excuses as we all get into that whole realm of of just putting it last and not making it a priority, you know, so I think I'm going to really try to work on it. It's good for me. It's good for my health, my accountability, and we could both keep each other accountable for doing it. So I already have three clients signed up this week on my calendar. And today I was reaching out to them and, Hey, you want to jump on a call and do our walk and talk? And here's my link. And I sent them the link straight from my calendar app and sign up for a time. And I already have, you know, three people signed up. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited about it. That is so fun. And, you know, I think that is um, one of the great messages. Thank you, Lori, that um, that was shared at convention. You know, we've got this Optavia active, but I think only they say about 24% of the population is, is moving on a regular basis. Um, so that means, you know what I mean? Like all, like three out of four people on this call are not actively moving. And that's okay because the big message was you can restart to rewrite your story at any time. We can make, we can change that. Um, and this um, Get Active 30 gives us the chance to start it, right? And what a great story to be able to share if you're not somebody who's active, like what you're doing to start getting out there. Um, and then even better, welcome your clients to join you. You know, when Lori first shared that idea, I thought she meant it was her local clients. And I'm like, well, that's fine. She's like, oh no, we're putting in earbuds. It's my, you know, it's my out-of-state clients as well. And I thought, well, that's genius. 
genius. Um, and, you know, Jamil Frazier really talked about the fact that um, what the world is suffering from most is a lack of hope. And we are in a really unique position. You guys have made a decision on a Monday night at 730 to be here because you want to better yourself. You want to be able to impact others, et cetera. So you're in a tremendous place of influence right now. Um, and Megan and Dan Valentine talked about like right now, setting your intention. You know, what is it you want to do? What is it you want to do with your personal health? What is it you want to do with impacting and helping other people? Um, and then make a decision. You know, when we talk about kind of going from the jacuzzi experience and of all the experience, make a decision of how are you going to start rewriting your story? What's your next chapter going to look like? Um, and then the most importantly thing is putting that structure in place, right? We can have ideas and think I'm going to get to that. I'm going to do it, but actually taking the time like Lori did, you know what? I'm going to create this space on my Calendly. I'm going to start telling my clients and I'm going to put it out there, actually putting things into action. So um, it is just so exciting. And um, just a few minutes to wrap up, Meg, I didn't know if you wanted to share a few more things. Um, I would love to hear from the some other friends who came to convention and maybe a takeaway that they wanted to share. I think that would be powerful. Love it. Love it. Amanda. All right. I know this is a little unusual for me to talk on this big venue like this, but um, I was looking at my notes to see if I wrote it down and I never did, of course, because it was the best. It was one of the things that really just slapped me in the face, but um, one of the, the men that was speaking said something about um, like almost like a settling, I'd be happy if I just got to blah, blah, blah. And um, that is 100% how I talk. And that is 100% how I think about my own self and my own goals. So I need to, and I, and I'm, I just assume that this would help somebody else, but um, to stop limiting myself in that way. Um, like I'd, I'd, I'd be happy if I just got to this small, no, no, I, I need to think bigger and shoot higher. Um, and, and just like shoot for the stars. Why not? It's so good. There's a quote, right? If we, you know, why not shoot for this, aim for the moon and you might hit the stars or something like that versus, you know, setting the bar so low and, um, you know, anything that we do that when we set it high, like if you don't make it, you're further along than if you're settling. And I think with the way of the environment has been, a lot of us have been like, I just want to get back to the weight I was at before, or I just want to get back to the rank I was at before. Um, but you know what, like, why not get back into the, the area of creation? We know that creation is what excites us. Um, and, you know, yeah, like, let's, 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 um, you know, create that next healthy version of ourselves or a healthy business. So I love that you saw that, you know, even within yourself that you were limiting. Who else? We've got like another minute. Just raise your hand or come up chat. Elizabeth. It's Joyce. Can you hear me? Yeah, we'll have you go Joyce and then we'll have Elizabeth as we wrap up. Okay. Um, I, I'm still on a high from this. This was my first time, Joyce Coleman from Dallas. I really had such a great time and it was so much takeaway. There was just so much of it. I was trying to write and, and couldn't keep up so I ended up pulling out my phone and just draining it all the way down just recording as much as I could to go back and listen to it later but I think the the light bulb moment for me was everything that was said but we end up going to lunch that Friday I believe and we met this guy and we were talking with him about how people talk about are you sick and various things like that and he said something that I just brought home with me because I never thought about it I keep having people that ask me, look at your face. Your face is sagging. Look, you know, you're, you're sick. You're this, you're that. And he helped me so much. I could care less. Now he says, tell them that's just an indication of how sick you were. Because if you have a lot of sagging skin, he says, that means there was a bunch of fat in there. Are you going to grow the fat back just to fill in your face so that they won't think that you're sick? But like I told him, what I tell people is when I really was sick, Nobody tried to get me to a doctor then, but then when I lost the weight and I'm feeling good, and yes, I have some saggy skin that will eventually find its way back to where it's supposed to be, but it's just a fact of an indication, like he said, as to how 
I think I was. And I brought that home with me. So it doesn't bother me as much now when people talk about my face sagging, something like that. That's so cool. And that's why, you know, we always talk about convention. It's not necessarily something that's said from the stage. That was somebody like a fellow person that had gone through that experience with you that was able to share something in a perspective shift that changed your world. And what a, what a powerful thing you just said, Miss Enthusiastic Award, um, you know, that... Um, you know, that nobody, nobody had, you know, anything to share or to help you when you were not in a healthy position, but isn't it so interesting, the negativity that comes out when you're choosing health and way to rise above, way to rise above. Love it. All right, Elizabeth. All right, real quick, guys, this is um, for any of you coaches who maybe can identify like me, and you didn't get around to watching the active launch. And so maybe you don't know this piece of information, but active is for everybody. It's for the stay at home moms who scrub their floor once a week. It's for I'm sorry, my cat wants me to pay attention to him. It's for the people who um, just want to play with their grandkids. Again, it's for the people who already exercise. And it's also for any Anybody on this call who's over 30, because in your 30s, you start losing muscle mass if you don't supplement foods or nutrients that have those unchained, the EAAs. So that was something I wanted to share. Man, thank you, Elizabeth. Yes, we are so excited about this active line. That was a really great point. It is for everyone. Active is for everyone. Convention is for everyone. And Optavia is for you and for everyone. Well, what a great call. After this call, here's our call to action for you. It is to text your coach or your business mentor and tell them what is one thing you plan to do differently after convention. And if you weren't at convention, text them one thing you plan to do differently after this call. And we just want to remind you that fear is a feeling that we feel but brave is who we are. So each and every one of you is brave and we love partnering with you. So we'll all roll over to the eight o'clock call on the journey to higher consciousness and we'll see you on Facebook. Have a great day. Night, you guys.